I can access the circuit breaker now. It's nothing personal. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yes! At last. Be too careful. This is their server room? I don't see them. These things give off a ton of heat. I understand the cooling system better now.
Get the hell out of here now.
He won't see me coming this time. It's in better shape than the morgue. They didn't expect to have so many casualties. What the hell am I doing here? We, we've got to go back. We have to. They've already lost many men. presence. Chris, can you hear me? Oh, shit, he was answering a few minutes ago. <coughs> can you call for someone? Chris! How many innocent lives did you take to get here? It's time to put an end to this. I would be impressed if I wasn't so tired of all this. This time, you're alone. You can't harm me. None of your kind can. I forbid you to come any closer. My faith is my shield. I've heard of mortals able to turn us away through the strength of their convictions. I'd never have believed it was anything more than legend. You have failed. Not yet. You're not infallible. As long as I have God on my side, I will be. I'll break you. You and your faith. A touch of bravado. Now that you're cornered, nothing can stop us. You're done for. We won't disappear without a fight. The war is already won. We've proven we're much more powerful than you. You will grow weak. You 
underestimate us. Your end is closer than you can imagine. Your pitiful efforts to reach me won't change a thing. What's your plan here? To put a stop to you. By killing me. We are Legion. Killing one of us won't make the rest of us vanish into thin air. You have made this battle a personal matter. Do you mean our little interview? My face speaks volumes. It brought me no satisfaction. It was necessary. I, however, will derive great satisfaction from sinking my fangs into your flesh. Demon. For you, it will feel like a kiss coming from within you. Enough. Then you'll feel nothing else but the chill of death. I have seen the consequences of your crimes. I have dried orphans' tears, tended to gaping wounds, calmed tormented minds. Joseph Manna was a remarkable man before you corrupted his soul. You spread your plague like rats. You feed off the human race. You're nothing but parasites. At least I don't deny my true nature. I know what I am. A creature superior to you mortals. But we're not just talking about humans here. You profane the very Earth with your presence. From the shadows, you manipulate the fates of civilizations. You bring famines. You stoke wars. You seek to take control of the entire world. And you'll be the cause of its ruin. In the past, we led empires. Glorious civilizations carried the banner for their immortal masters. Slavery. That's your legacy. We built far more than we destroyed. Can you say the same? I smell nothing but destruction in your wake. What would you have me do? Faced with a creature stripped of all emotion who sees you as nothing more than cattle. I've lost count of the number of dead bodies and broken lives. Fire is the only path to redemption. Down to the very last. You should have settled with being ruled by superior beings. But you started a war that has escaped your control. We are responsible. Who burned Vienna to the ground? Who chose to strike Boston? You should have considered the consequences of your actions. In the end, only one question remains. Why do you continue to fight when the outcome is already decided? You gave me the location of your hideout. It will soon be purified. Your demise is inevitable. Why do you refuse to accept it? You can struggle. It's the natural order of things. The fight will only heighten my primal instincts. No creature can resist the Almighty. I am here for only one thing. I am a monster. Your predator. That's impossible. You're my prey. A sheep that has become separated from his flock. I'm hunting you. I'm going to show you the price you must pay if you come after me. This is impossible. Now, you will die. 
Stay back. Deus Deus. Why? Richard, what are you doing here? Hazel sent me. I'll take over from here. She planned for everything. Best you best go back to see her. What do we do about him? I'll take, I'll take care of him. Tell her, Tell her the SI is under is control. Under control. Good work, Caleb. you were back it's over now not yet at best we've won ourselves more time your wounds what did they do to you it's nothing you should know that our bodies don't react the same way that mortal bodies do. I understand. But still, it's quite a sight. Stanford is dead. Do you think that will be enough? Others will come to hunt us. We must be ready. Like prey who have discovered their power. They know they'll be devoured if they lay down their weapons. The next time, we'll be prepared. We are partly to blame for this. You're defending them? No, but I understand them. That's a rather subtle nuance. Stanford wasn't fighting for his life. He was fighting to save his kind. Look where that got him. He almost succeeded. Do you think this is the end of Boston? Like I said, we've won a reprieve. We must use this time to adapt. Disappear. That's up to the Prince to decide, not me. That's not what I was talking about. I meant that feeling you get, your urge to leave. I don't think it will ever go away now. But can the court still count on you? Boston needs you, now more than ever before. What are you going to do? I'm leaving. 
What? Why? For far too long now, I've enjoyed a power that I did nothing to earn. I've cut countless lives too short, caused too many incurable ills. As the years go by, I've grown weary of this incessant struggle. It's time for me to see if there's more to our existence. As you said, the war isn't over. You'll be leaving behind the image of someone who flees before their duty. Not a hero. What's going to happen now? There's a risk that some will try to take advantage of the situation. Isn't that what you're doing? <laughs> no. It's not the same thing. Every fiber of my being feels compelled to leave. I must follow my instincts. You're taking advantage of the situation to abandon your prince. What about me? What part will I have in all of it? I know that Beryl embraced you. It's not like I was given the choice. It's what you wanted, wasn't it? The embrace. I didn't want it to happen like that. But from another perspective, yes, I gained immortality. And I'm still a part of your lineage. But you're Beryl's child, not mine. He drained me of my blood. I felt a deathly chill wash over me. A biting, bitter cold that came from inside. After that, I remember feeling only hunger. A hunger so powerful. That hunger is our only company. Like us, it is eternal. Beryl fed me. But I still feel a dull pain throughout my being. I get the feeling that the worst is yet to come. Now that I've made it to the other side. And there's this presence lurking in the shadows of my mind ready to come out and take control. I warned you about it. It's our curse. All we can do is try to resist. There is no cure. How do you know about what he did? Your sire confessed to it all. You saw him? Where is he? He is no longer of this world. What did you do to him? Nothing. I let him stand on his own two feet. That's all. You left him in the hands of our worst enemies. Isn't that right? Otherwise, he'd be here with us. Does that sound responsible to you? Beryl is my child. You don't have a say in it. Now that my sire is gone, I don't know if the prince will allow me to stay. What's going to happen to me? Not my problem anymore. You can't really believe that. I'm sorry, Fang. Sorry about what? Ma'am, thank God you're here. When I found out that Hazel had sent you out there, I really thought that... Oh, are you alright? You're not hurt? No. You're all worked up over nothing. I'm fine. Not over nothing. It was a suicide mission. I know. The Anarchs didn't make it out. What are you talking about? Randall Thane. 
The Anarchs. They helped me on Long Island, but they were all destroyed. You're back. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Listen, I know it's not a good time, but we need to talk. Come back to my rooms with me. What for? Not here, ma'am. I'll tell you more once we're there. It's important and personal. Are you coming? All right, but it has to be quick. Hazel's expecting me. It won't take long. Come with me. Do you want me to ask Sylvia to send up a vessel? You must be starving. It's fine. I don't have a lot of time. What did you want to talk about? I know that Hazel offered you a seat on the council. I was sure you'd disapprove of it. Mem, she's offered you my seat. She never said anything about replacing you. She's not blind. She's seen you growing more influential. Not as much as me, but nearly. By bringing you into the Primogen, she hopes that the student will surpass the master, and that I'll end up losing all credibility. Then, why does Hazel want to get rid of you? Who knows? The powers made her paranoid. She's afraid of her own shadow. She must think I'm a threat. It'll happen to you, too, if you accept the seat. Are you going to accept? You know the power that comes with the seat on the council. It's cruel to ask me to give that up. You already have power, Amem. You've got your clubs. The scale's a little different. This seat? I can have an impact on the entire city. But at what cost? Have you thought about that? <sighs> Listen, I know we don't see eye to eye on everything, but I'm trying to help you. You lose everything if you accept her offer. Your freedom, your music, everything. You've seen the sacrifices that Hazel will ask you to make. The Anarchs. Yes. It's a heavy burden to bear. Leave it to me. I'm going to take what's mine. I deserve that seat. It's not a game, M.M. You don't understand what the consequences are. Oh, I understand them better than you imagine. Now, if you'll excuse me, Hazel's expecting me. You made your choice. Disasters bring out the best and the worst in us. They can plunge us into oblivion or signal the start of a golden age. Tonight will go down in history as the night we were able to prove we're not done yet. We demonstrated that our ability to adapt and change are the keys to our domination. Many sacrifices were necessary. Our domain was violated and our existence threatened. But this is nothing compared to everything we have lost. Our family has been battered. The blood of our servants flowed like water. Our own kind were decimated in the flames. We will never forget them. Those who fought by our side and who quenched their thirst for the blood of these mortals. Those who yearned for calmer nights, where we would once again reign over the kind. Now that our reunification has been confirmed, we can count on strong allies who will help us secure our blood supply. Our old quarrels belong to the past. The trifles that separated us have been forgotten. Only one truth remains, our supremacy. 
Never again shall we be weak or disunited. That's what the mortals expect from us. Let us show them why we are the predators and they are the prey. Let us show them who their blood belongs to. Let us show them the power of immortality. The sacrifices are not over yet. Some will be lost. Others will lose what they have. But it will not be in vain. We are hunters, and what is taken from a hunter must be repaid a hundredfold. Our eternal nature is our greatest strength. Boston has shown that it is stronger than old London and venerable Vienna. Tonight, we have tasted vengeance. Tonight, a sea of blood will flow. <laughs>